the three-section staff, a popular showy movie weapon, but does it have a history of being an effective weapon in the real world? There is little evidence that the three-section staff was ever significantly used on a battlefield. Long flail weapons are not conducive to formation fighting, where you have men in ranks. Men who would prefer not to be fighting beside someone, using a weapon that is difficult to control. The three-section staff, however, does have at least 1,000 years of history of being used as a personal weapon, where it can be effective, though it does require some skill to use. The three-section staff can go by the name three-part staff, triple staff, Sanji Guan in Chinese, or Sanset Sukun in Japanese. It has several names, likely the coolest is the Coiling Dragon Staff. The obvious advantages of the three-section staff versus a regular staff is that it can be used as a flail, meaning a section of the weapon can bend over or around a blocking weapon and still hit an opponent. Also unlike a spear, the staff sections can be bundled together, making them easy to carry and conceal. The three-section staff has been made of white oak, waxwood, or Chinese red maple, but modern staffs are constructed from various materials including aluminum or bamboo. The ideal length of the weapon is for each section to be about the length of a user's arm. The sections can be connected with a chain or cord, upwards to 5 inches or 130 millimeters in length. A long three-section staff can reach upwards to 100 inches or 2.5 meters, giving it a good reach when being used as a whip. The length of the three-section staff allows it to be trained with, using similar techniques to a traditional Chinese staff. This includes spinning moves over the head or behind the back. Likewise, the weapon can also use techniques similar to what you'd see in Kali or other stick-fighting styles. The three-section staff is considered an advanced weapon, typically something a martial artist would pick up after mastering techniques of the staff, stick-fighting, or whip-fighting. The weapon can be used as a long-range whip, mid-range flail, two-section staff, or a short-ranged baton weapon. The sections and chain links further can block, bind, and entangle an opponent and their weapon. A skilled user may be able to entangle a weapon using two sections of the three-section staff and still be able to strike an opponent with the third. However, the weapon is not difficult for an opponent to grip and can result in a tug-of-war scenario. There has been even some historical suggestion that the weapon would be effective against a horse's legs, but this would seem an unlikely use, putting the user at great risk, with a horse likely to break or ignore the weapon. The three-section staff has not been a popular weapon worldwide. It's most popular in Chinese martial arts and used in Matayoshi Kabuto in Japan, brought over from southeast China. When a weapon has a lack of global presence in warfare or martial arts, it's typically because either the downsides are too many, or the weapon requires significant training to use. The three-section staff falls somewhere in the middle of these two principles. Militarily, the three-section staff falls greatly behind the simple spear for effectiveness on the battlefield, particularly in formations. Try picturing a group of a hundred men doing this in any organized fashion. The weapon has a general lack of control and is less lethal than a weapon with a weighted or sharpened end. The chain links can even absorb some of the impact of the weapon. However, this also benefits the user as the impact won't travel down to the hand either. Against a sword, a three-section staff is a risky weapon to use as it lacks hand guards. If a three-section staff user attempts to use range as an advantage against a blade, an opponent might be tempted to simply cover their head, take a hit, and close the distance for a fatal stab attempt. Ultimately, with training, it can be an effective weapon. However, it does lean heavily on showiness. Just how effective it will be in combat will depend on the training, which is hopefully done with a padded three-section staff. Training, like with many flails, requires careful consideration. It's easy to hit oneself or pinch fingers. All right, I'm Johnny. Thank you for watching. Do you think the three-section staff is an effective weapon? Or am I just chained to the past? Take care.
and have a nice rest of your day.